we need to continue to present the special truth to our young people because they do not want any mincing of words. They want the raw truth, yes. so to speak. I call it the special truth. Right? It's a message for their time, and it has to be told to them. The Southern Belizean activist, farmer, and educator, Leonidas Sanchez, takes his work in a serious way. It's a struggle for self-sufficiency. It's a struggle for food security. And it's a sense of consciousness that you rarely find in his hometown, Punta Gorda, in the southern district of Toledo in Belize. Right here in uh, PG, the sea front, and uh, where we are right now is uh, we are looking at the submerged wharf for the Catholic mission. And uh, I, as a child, I had a personal experience when I was on this wharf plane, and my intuition told me to get off the wharf. And um, that was how it was only about maybe 15 seconds after that that wharf collapsed. It was around 1978 that that occurred. And uh, when I had researched it, it was told that there was a massive earthquake that hit Guatemala City that actually affected, the tremor affected um, this wharf. Born and grown in Punta Gorda, Brother Leo, as he is called, took a passion for farming in the soil-rich region of the Southern District and developed the skills to subdue the land and produce food from it. He worked in agriculture from a teenager with local Garifuna and Mayan farmers in building farming cooperatives while building his own subsistence farm from which he produced fruits, ground foods, cattle, and grass to feed livestock. Yeah, this, this is the Napier grass. It's, um, a, it's a 23% crude protein for livestock, livestock in general. Brother Leo is a self-taught farmer who learned from agriculturists like the legendary Alexander Marin who was also an instructor at Lyman College and who also went to that college. He also taught Brother Leo agriculture in high school. Brother Leo also sought the counsel of Belizean scholar, educator and politician Dr. Theodore Rondo, whom he had worked with in many different areas and had traveled with to mainland China. As a technical drawing and building instructor at Toledo Community College, Brother Lee explains to activist Abdul Marin Yunus about his discipline of work and what he expects from his students in terms of producing results. Here in this building classroom are the furniture, products and machinery that his learning zone displays. Gun prevention in Belize. At Toledo Community College where he teaches, Brother Leo speaks to students about gang intervention during a Southern Gang Intervention Tour that he helped organize to educate students in the southern district of Belize how to resist the pitfalls of gangs. The students are responsive and attentive 
displaying their uttermost respect for a man they know means well for their welfare. We are all aware that gang violence is plaguing Belize at this very time. We are saddened and touched when we look at the news and see young men killing themselves through this kind of violence. Our beloved Punta Gorda is not, we will say, blessed right now with not having this serious problem as yet. However, we want to take the necessary steps to ensure that we try to do everything within our power to prevent gun violence from affecting our young minds here. As a speaker on the gang intervention tour, Brother Abdul Marin Nunes, who is also an educator, presents a skit to the students about resisting the trappings of gangs. Bilal Morris, also an educator in Los Angeles, presents a talk to the students on gang intervention, labeling stereotypes and sublimical messages that American mass media through television in Belize feeds into the minds of Belizean young people unconsciously. When we speak truth to the students, you see how they gravitate towards that special truth. And that is what has been reflected at TCC this morning. That has been what has been reflected at the Leo and at Ecumenical. We need to continue to present the special truth to our young people because they do not want any mincing of words. They want the raw truth. <laughs> So to speak. I call it the special truth. Right? It's a message for their time and it has to be told to them. As he embraces young people across Belize as an activist for black consciousness and teaching self-worth, Brother Leo, who is also a Muslim with the Nation of Islam, shares time with brothers during the visit of Minister Louis Farrakhan to Belize in March of this year, where he met the minister for the first time. An avid traveler around the world where he partakes in so many conferences, seminars, and meeting dignitaries in relation to his community work for the people of Punta Gorda and the South, this Garifuna Belizean statesman hardly takes a break, except where family time calls to be spent with his family, mother, and mentors that contributed so much to his social political and economical development. Brother Leo spent many quality time at his farm, planting crops and tending to his many livestock and poultry he raised for the export market and assisting other local farmers in the Punta Gorda community. He is a man on a mission and has no time to waste. A passionate worker, it is seldom that this rare species of a Belizean sits down to rest, relax, and enjoy the beauties of nature. He is that special truth, a Belizean in a struggle to create a people's movement that would one day change Belize. How much can I do? You see how much work is it? When we speak truth to the students, you see how they gravitate towards that special truth. 